giving an authentic voiceover audition. Coming up next on this week's Dewey's Directive. Hello and welcome once again to my DeWeese Directive. I'm Bill DeWeese from VoiceOverRevolution.com. And before we get into the content for the for the day, just a quick thank you to, to those who attended my VoiceOver Revolution event in Los Angeles this past weekend. It was two days of action-packed, fun-filled voiceover work uh, with just some amazing people who traveled in from all around the country and even outside the country. So, uh, again, thank you for coming. Uh, you were great. And a special thanks to my guests who really made it a special weekend. Uh, a big thanks to Christina Milizia. She's just a, an outstanding uh, character voice actor in Los Angeles, has been doing this for a very long time. And she's such a young lady. She's been doing it since she was a, since she was a girl and is really at the, at the top of her game, doing some amazing work. And she just led an incredible incredible high energy workshop on Sunday that everybody just absolutely loved. And also a big thanks to my to my good friend, Dave Corvassier. Dave uh, is not only um, the evening news anchor at KLAS in Las Vegas, the CBS affiliate there. In addition to being a talented journalist and, and on camera news anchor, he is an outstanding and working voice voice talent. Uh, he has a brand new book out. He has an incredible blog. You can check all that out at Corvo, C-O-U-R-V-O dot com. But Dave talked to us and demystified social media for voice talent because, uh, I mean, voice uh, social media is an evolving thing. Uh, new players come into the into the field and sometimes it's not it's difficult to know where to put your energy uh, Dave really helped us to better understand how to use social media to our benefit in developing our voiceover careers so Dave thank you uh, for for being there it was loved and appreciated by all who attended and also I want to give a very very special thanks to all of the comments you know whenever I do whenever I do a live event the thing that I hear more than anything else aside from anything relating to the actual seminar or workshop is wow you're much taller in person than you are on YouTube and I also received a comment from a personal trainer who attended this weekend who said wow you're you're slimmer in person than you are in YouTube so for your benefit as a viewer of this channel I just you know in the in the um in the interest of truth in broadcasting, I just want you to envision me as being much taller, much slimmer, and a better looking version of what you see right now. Okay, so with that being said, let's get into the content for today. And that is auditioning with an authentic read style. I have an actual audition here in front of me. I'm getting ready to record. It's for State Farm Insurance. And the direction on this, direction that's probably not new to many of you, and that is warm, comforting, authentic should not have a, and I, I'm reading from the, the direction from the client, should not have a, quote, radio voice. And they use uh, actor references, as they often do, sound like John Krasinski or Edward Norton, that type of voice. Now, with that being said, I want to address the idea of, of the references to actors. Whenever you're working on a national script, which this is, um, the worst thing you can do would be to go back and reference the John Krasinski, any of his um, insurance commercials, and try to duplicate what he does in terms of inflection and pacing and nuance. Um, when you try to impersonate somebody on a national spot, that's not going to work because really, uh, you know, State Farm is competing against, I mean, this, you know, this is another insurance player. So we don't want to sound like them. Now, if you're doing a local or regional doing a dead-on impersonation might actually work to your advantage. But in this case, it's not about trying to sound like Ed Norton or John Krasinski. It's about being authentically yourself. So I'm going to go through the process, show you how I would do it, and hopefully it will help you get a better sense of how you would approach it. Now, I'm going to demonstrate a specific technique that I like to use, and I call it the springboard technique. And the springboard technique is simply where I find a word or a phrase or a sentence within the script that really summarizes the feeling, the vibe, the emotion, the underlying emotional current of the script that will give me, that will serve as a springboard so that I don't start reading the script cold. It essentially gets me into character before I even begin the script. So what I, what I do is I read that springboard phrase or sentence out loud, and then I go back to the beginning, and then I read the script. So uh, what I'll do... I'm going to slate the audition as if, uh, you know, as I would, uh, as I always do for, for an audition. 
for an agent for an agency audition anyhow. So I'll slate it and then I'll do my springboard and then I'll read the script and then later I can go back and edit out the little springboard phrase before I submit it. So here we go. Bill Deweese, two takes. One. Because when you know that help is right next door, well, there's nothing you can't do. Good neighbors are more than just the people next door. They're there for you like family. They help make you a better you, influence the way you grow. Oops, I hit my keyboard. Let me back up there. Influence the way you grow, give you confidence when you need it most, and inspire greatness in all of us. Because when you know that help is right next door, well, there's nothing you can't do. We believe in the power of good neighbors. State Farm Neighborhood Sessions reunites artists with the people back home who inspired them. Using the hashtag Neighborhood Sessions. Use the hashtag Neighborhood Sessions and we'll contribute a dollar toward helping a Bronx neighbor who inspires greatness. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Two, good neighbors are more than just the people next door. They're there for you like family. They help make you a better you, influence the way you grow, give you confidence when you need it most, and inspire greatness in all of us. Because when you know that help is right next door, well, there's nothing you can't do. We believe in the power of good neighbors. State Farm Neighborhood Sessions reunites artists with the people back home who inspired them. Use the hashtag Neighborhood Sessions and we'll contribute a dollar toward helping a Bronx neighbor who inspires greatness. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. So there you go. Two, well, it's one audition, but two takes. Uh, second with just a tad bit more energy, but the idea is that for me would be my authentic, warm, neighborly read, uh, using, again, the direction and guidance they provided uh, with the script. So again, I hope that helps you. Uh, just one other quick note, as you may be aware, I do a monthly or almost every month voiceover fast track class via Google Hangouts. So it doesn't matter where you live, you can participate. We limit it to nine people and it's over the course of four weeks, four sessions. We cover, you know, nuts and bolts, A to Z of the voiceover biz. And people are already asking to sign up for the, um, uh, March class. So if you're interested in getting in on that, just drop me an email and we can get you taken care of and get you all the info. Just email me at voiceoverexpert at gmail.com and the subject line put fast track. Hey, thanks for checking out this week's Dewey's Directive. If you liked it, make sure you give it a, a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to talking to you again real soon.